Welcome to the Energy Planner Portal Tutorial. The Energy Planner Portal makes it easy to adjust temperature settings, program appliances, and more from your desktop or mobile device. This video provides step-by-step -step instructions on the most common adjustments and programming that Energy Planner customers make throughout the year. In a hurry? Make note of the timestamps following each section and simply advance the video to the section you want to hear. Let's get started. We'll move step-by-step -step through these seven topics. One, access portal and personal settings. Two, configure programming schedule. Three, thermostat holds. Four, setting up your water heater schedule. Five, water heater holds. Six, setting up your pool pump schedule. Seven, pool pump holds. Access portal and personal settings. Log in to your Tampa Electric customer portal at tampaelectric.com and select Login. Enter your username and password, then select Login. Once you're logged in, click on the word Energy Planner under the Settings section to manage your devices. Customer Portal will display. Select Settings in the Portal menu bar to update your user information or choose your program schedule type. Configure Programming Schedule Devices must be connected to the Internet via your secure home Wi-Fi network to communicate and receive programming. From the Home screen, select Desired Mode, Heat or Cool, and then select Schedule. You can configure your schedule based on price response, time of day, or a combination of both. To program by the price response settings, select each pricing tier box that you would like to activate. The state of a tier will be indicated by the toggle button in the upper right corner of the window. To change the state, simply select the toggle button. Next, set the desired temperature and select Apply. The thermostat will now follow the schedule for that pricing tier. Repeat the process for all tiers that you wish to activate. To configure the time of day settings, select one of the temperature settings on the timeline. Select the desired start time from the pull-down arrow, choose the temperature setting, and select Apply. When a price response tier is activated, it will always override the time of day settings for that time period. Make sure the critical pricing tier is always active. We recommend you raising your critical cooling temperature 3 to 5 degrees higher than your highest cooling temperature setting and your critical heating temperature 3 to 5 degrees lower than your lowest heat temperature. Select Temperature tab to go back to main screen. Thermostat holds. Temporary. To set a temporary hold, click and drag or slide the indicator within the dial to the desired temperature. Once you place the temporary hold, you will notice a hand icon above the desired temperature. A temporary hold will stay active until your next scheduled time change. If you want to remove the hold before the next time change, click on Remove Temporary Hold. Permanent. To set a permanent hold, select the Away button and choose the desired temperature using the arrow buttons and then Apply. A permanent hold will stay active until you remove it. When you want to remove the hold, select Remove Away Hold. Schedule. To set a scheduled hold, select the Vacation button. Use the up and down buttons to set the desired temperature and then select or tell us when to remove it. You will then be able to choose the desired date and time for the scheduled hold to end and select Apply. If you do not select an end date and time, the hold will activate as a permanent hold and will not change until you remove it. Setting up your water heater schedule. If your water heater is on the program, it will display below the thermostat. If you also have a pool, you may need to click the arrow to locate the desired device. From the home screen, select the Schedule tab under Water Heater to access the programming schedule. You can configure your schedule based on price response, time of day, or a combination of both. To program by the price response settings, select each pricing tier box that you would like to activate. If the tier is inactive, 
activate it by selecting the inactive toggle button. Next, select whether or not you would like for power to be available to the device and then apply. Repeat the process for all tiers that you wish to activate. To configure the time of day settings, click on one of the time periods shown on the timeline. You will have four time change options to use on the time of day settings. This will give you the availability to schedule two different time periods for the water heater to operate in. Select a start time and then whether or not you would like for the device to have power available or unavailable during that time of day, then apply. When a price response tier is activated, it will always override the time of day setting for that time period. Water heater holds temporary. To set a temporary hold, click Place Hold. Click Until Your Schedule Changes and select the toggle to be available for on or unavailable for off and apply. Once you place the temporary hold, you will notice a hand icon next to the desired hold. A temporary hold will stay active until your next scheduled time change. If you want to remove the hold before the next time change, click the Remove Hold button. Permanent. To set a permanent hold, select Place Hold. Click until you remove it and select the toggle to be available for on or unavailable for off and apply. Once you place the permanent hold, you will notice a hand icon next to the desired hold. A permanent hold will stay active until you remove it. When you want to remove the hold, select Remove Hold button. Schedule. To set a scheduled hold, select Place Hold. Click until a specific date, time, and select the toggle to be available for on or unavailable for off. You will then be able to choose the desired date and time for the scheduled hold to end and apply. Once you place the hold, you will notice a hand icon next to the desired hold. If you want to remove the hold early, select the Remove Hold button. Setting up your pool pump schedule. If your pool pump is on the program, it will display below the thermostat. If you also have a water heater, you may need to click the arrow to locate desired device. From the home screen, select the Schedule tab under Pool Pump to access the programming schedule. You can configure your schedule based on price response, time of day, or a combination of both. To schedule by the price response settings, select each pricing tier box that you would like to activate. If the tier is inactive, activate it by selecting the inactive toggle button. Next, select whether or not you would like for power to be available to the device, and then apply. Repeat the process for all tiers that you wish to activate. To configure the time of day settings, click on one of the time periods shown on the timeline. You will have four time change options to use on the time of day settings. This will give you the availability to schedule two different time periods for the pool pump to operate in. Select a start time and then whether or not you would like for the device to have power available or unavailable during that time of day period, then apply. When a price response tier is activated, it will always override the time of day setting for that time period. Pool pump holds. Temporary. To set a temporary hold, click Place Hold. Click until your schedule changes and select the toggle to be available for on or unavailable for off and apply. Once you place the temporary hold, you will notice a hand icon next to the desired hold. A temporary hold will stay active until your next scheduled time change. If you want to remove the hold before the next time change, click the Remove Hold button. Permanent. To set a permanent hold, select Place Hold. Click until you remove it and select the toggle to be available for on or unavailable for off and apply. Once you place the permanent hold, you will notice a hand icon next to the desired hold. A permanent hold will stay active until you remove it. When you want to remove the hold, select Remove Hold button. Schedule. To get a scheduled hold, select Place Hold. Click until a specific date time and select the toggle to be available for on or unavailable for off. You will then be able to choose the desired date and time for the scheduled hold to end and apply. Once you place the hold, you will notice a hand icon next to the desired hold. 
If you want to remove the hold early, select Remove Hold button. We hope you found this video to be helpful. If you need technical assistance, check out our Energy Planner Customer Guide at tampaelectric.com slash EP or call our technical team at 813-275-3050. Thank you for providing us the opportunity to serve your energy needs.